Hi there, family. So I am great. It's great to be back with you again as we continue our reading of prayer letter number 45, Radical Faith. So the last video, which I hope you look, would have looked at, I ended by reading um, a poem. And that poem was written, as I said, 1980 or 81. So I was at that time either 23 or 24. Yeah, imagine now. This 2024, and my birthday is in September, and I don't mind telling you that I'm going to be 68 years old. Oh, that seems so long. You know, we count time. Obviously, we count time in months and years, but God doesn't count time like that. It is just a little dot for him as a thousand a thousand years is but a day in his life. I think I best start reading that door. Let's pray. <laughs> Heavenly Father, thank you so much for being such a wonderful God. We thank you, Father, that you have your you, you're working with each one of us. You're teaching each one of us about the principles of faith as we continue on in our lives, and we will always and be ever learning. Thank you so much for your patience with all of us. Amen. Okay, so after ending the poem, I said, even as I typed that poem, which was uh, written on a page now turned yellow, the tears were simply flowing. Could it be coincidental that this poem, which I wrote as a young girl, woman, was in some sense what we call prolepsis? Or was it proleptic? Was it a proleptic poem? It seems as God, it seems that God has so chartered the course of my life to enable me to live the faith which I wrote about. The details of my experience so cannily parallel some of the poem's lyrics absolutely stranger than fiction. I stand in awe at the wonderful and amazing God who invited me as a youth, a young girl, into an intimate divine relationship, the essence of the Aurora Borealis experience. I shared about that on Facebook a little while back. I read the poem to Derek Lane, and without any prompting, she was able to see the connection between my experience and some aspects of the poem. She said, Mom, the book will be a big hit. It really be a big hit because if you hit somebody with it, you knock them down. <laughs> in this walk of faith in which I have been engaged for the last five years had its beginnings in 1980. A growing relationship with God is also a growth in spiritual maturity. As Christians, we are not expected to remain at a standstill and stagnate. We are counseled to grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's 1 Peter 3.18. My walk of faith has been one of unprecedented spiritual excitement. I never, know, I never quite know what God has up his sleeve that is the very true, so to speak. However, I have planted my feet on his promise, his promise to me that his plans for me are good plans. Plans to prosper me and give me hope. That's Jeremiah 29, 11. As you know, and you know, we can recite it real good. I believe God's word and I speak God's word to my own heart and to many others some of whom may believe differently. And let me pause here to say, one of the principles of faith has to do with speaking what you say. Some people do not quite understand the importance of speaking positively, even while you remain very realistic. Okay, though we cannot know what God has up his sleeve, we can be assured that everything will work together for our good. Let me share with you uh, a very exciting event in which I was involved. Reverend Mikey Roberts invited me to participate in a service which gave me an opportunity to express my faith in God's continued care. The event, called Him Speak, was held at the Grand St. Michael's Cathedral on May 19, 2008. I do remember that I would have read this already, but then there are others who may have joined, so I'll just go over it. Sorry. Yeah. At, at, as coordinator and organizer, Reverend Mikey decided that this year he would even be more creative. In addition to the musical renditions, he invited 10 persons 
to relate their personal experience in the context of the hymn, which he had prayerfully assigned to each of us. The one he selected for me was the, was the hymn, My Faith Looks Up to Thee by Ray, Ray Palmer. I had three to five minutes to say what the lyrics of this hymn meant to me. It was an invitation to share our story. Uh, Reverend Mikey prepped and guided us in our preparatory session, and he told us that he did not want a sermon, and I'm going to stop here and continue in the next note. Come back. Thanks for staying with me. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.